This short tutorial will introduce the Animator button, which is a feature on the XLC toolbar. Uh, here we have a calculation with a number of input parameters, and uh, we have this uh, graphical uh, output here, uh, which are the, are the results of our calculation. Uh, the particular input value that I'm going to investigate is this one here, and I'm going to pop open the animator form. It's picked up the starting value here of uh, 0.1, which is of course 10%, and I'm going to change that now up to, let's say, 80%, and I'm going to do that in 200 frames of animation. So when I press the play button, we can see how the output of the calculation changes as a result of changing an input parameter. That's going to continue playing until I press the start button. So there we go. If I want to uh, create a, a slower animation, it would be a wise thing to make more frames of animation so that when I play this time, the whole animation is slower, and that might be useful uh, to us as well. Let's press the stop, and uh, we notice that all the uh, starting values are returned to their uh, original values. And what I'm going to do is close that down now, and uh, we're back where we started from. I hope you can see that the animator is going to be a very useful tool for us to uh, investigate uh, input parameters to problems. Uh, I think it's a feature that's been missing from Excel for a long time. And I'm very pleased to see that XLC has included it. So, thank you very much for listening to the tutorial and I hope you find the animator button useful.